hello hello and welcome to my channel my name is Kat I am the nurse flipper if this is your first time here I am a full-time reseller primarily on eBay and in this video I am going to show you only high dollar what sold these are my sales from the last month they're going to start at $50 and go all the way up over $1,200 for one item can't wait to share them with you So these have been some of my most popular videos over the years. I every Monday like to show you exactly what I sold so, so that you can see what my business model is actually like. And what that is is a mix of lower dollar and high dollar. But I know some of you only want to see the high dollar and that's exactly what we're going to go over on this video. And I will tell you where I got the item, how much I paid, approximately how long it took to sell, as well as approximately how much profit. So first up is actually a Ralph Lauren tablecloth that I got at a yard sale. If you do not look out, watch for new linens in the package. Tablecloths, napkins, especially if they are branded, they can sell for big money. This is a Ralph Lauren Guinevere Chive Green Damascene Jacquard Tablecloth, 60 by 120. It was new. I paid only $2 for this at that garage sale. It sold in under a month for $48.29, plus the buyer paid shipping, and this one went international this and next one is one of my most favorite items if you watch me you know i absolutely love pottery this one was signed i did not comp it while i was in the store i got it for about about a dollar and a quarter because it was marked at four dollars but it was 75 percent off at the thrift store i was at and when i got it home started researching it i actually could only find one other sold comp of this this maker on worth point and that's a 10 year history so her stuff is pretty rare and this one sold in under a day this is a shanna flegel mug nceca handmade studio pottery ceramic art earthenware it sold for 69 dollars and 30 cents it sold in under a week so this one was over a 55 dollar profit sold very very fast it's hard to see there because of that ended mark but there are two chickens pecking at the ground there at the bottom of the mug and she had some really cool colors swirled in there as well all right i love buying lots and what comes along with buying lots is getting some low dollar items and that means like five to ten dollar range and then you just hope you get lucky to find some higher dollar like this one i'm getting ready to show you i bought a lot of 600 harley pins for 600 dollars, so i'm about a dollar into each and this next one sold for 75 dollars this is a vintage harley davidson sterling 50 year anniversary american made lapel pin sold for 75 dollars again i only paid a dollar for this the buyer did pay six in shipping so this was over a 65 dollar profit next up is an item that i bought in an online auction i also got those harley pins in an online auction that definitely is my favorite place to source and i do have a few videos on that if you're interested in learning how to source on online auctions so this next one i got by itself from an online auction i paid about 40 dollars for it I am okay paying up sometimes and if I'm already having to drive a couple hours to pick stuff up and I find other stuff that I know will be profitable, I will bid on those individual items as well. Also, a lot of my higher dollar items were individual items on auction. I do hear from you sometimes that your auction doesn't have lots or auctions in your area don't have lots. Well, most of my high dollar items have not been in lots i do get lucky occasionally because i buy so many lots but you can find really good deals on single items just like this one as well this is a jim shore disney Yui louie 
2006 playing tricks this was sharing treats halloween it was a little figurine again i paid 40 so it's about a 35 dollars profit after fees this one took a little longer to sell it took about four months but not bad sale at 89.50 and the buyer did pay shipping this next one i was really happy to get the price i did i bought several of these and this one's the first one to sell and i bought them because i think they're really cool when i got home and comped them they don't necessarily sell as high as i was hoping but still a pretty good sale i did pay 20 dollars for this in an online auction this was not in a lot it was by itself and i absolutely love these being from florida this is a vintage mid-century modern seashell double conch clipper ship beach tabletop lamp this one sold for 82 dollars, so it is about a 50 50 55 dollar profit the buyer did pay about 30 in shipping this was very very heavy luckily they were here in florida just like myself it took oh, about two months to sell so not too bad keep an eye out for this stuff i really probably shouldn't have went up to 20 dollars. i would have liked to be more at that 15 dollar mark but it was still a great profit all right up next is the first of my license plates so the license plates were bought just like the harley pins they were bought in an online auction I paid about a thousand dollars i believe for about 1500 to 2000 of them so i am less than a dollar in and there are several on here that you're gonna see that sold for big money i really want to point out to you with stuff like this it is very important to look each one up as far as the year the state because i had tags that were a year before and a year after and they were not worth very much like 12 15 dollars but this one sold for a hundred and it sold in a day this is a vintage 1951 missouri truck plate original tag i do put the number i put maroon i did accept a best offer of the hundred dollars i had it listed at 130 i probably could have held out a little bit longer on that but i was happy to get a hundred dollars from a dollar investment this one is well over an 85 dollar profit and i will tell you again the years before the years after were not worth as much so maybe there's just a shortage on the 1951 missouri truck plate but this one sold very very fast this next one was from an online auction as well it was in a very very small lot just of three paperweights i paid about ten dollars for this paperweight took about six months to eight six to eight months to sell so it did take a little bit longer but it was absolutely beautiful and i was okay looking at it while i waited for it to sell so this is a vintage large three inch latticino and millefiori murano glass paperweight red with flowers this did have the original murano sticker on the bottom it sold for 72 dollars, so it's about a 50 to 55 dollar profit the buyer did pay 10 in shipping and again it took a little bit longer to sell if you want to know about some higher dollar paperweights then go and watch my high dollar paperweight video you will be amazed some of them sell for thousands of dollars up next is a decanter that is waterford i am not big on clear glass or crystal it just doesn't really appeal to me but if something stands out it looks different this one i definitely could tell was crystal it was marked waterford very very clearly on the bottom it can be a little bit hard to see but if you see something that looks a little bit stunning i would definitely look to see if there's a signature or some kind of stamp because it could be worth a lot of money i only paid ten dollars for this it did take about eight to nine months to sell but it was a good sale this is a vintage waterford crystal colleen decanter 11 inches tall with the stopper it sold for 91 dollars, making it about a 70 dollar profit and again it did have waterford clearly written on the bottom of the decanter all right this next license plate was in conjunction with another one in conjunction they were a hundred dollar sale for two license plates don't forget i only have a dollar into each so let me show you both of them they did go to the same buyer 
The first one is a vintage New Jersey license plate, Garden State, New Jersey. With the customized ones, I think it is very important to put customized in the title, as you see I did. This one says Safe One. I did also put Man Cave in the title, and this one sold for $45, making it about a $40 profit. All right, this next one you're going to see really really creative use of keywords and i think that helps sell this item so fast both of these sold in under a day now don't forget i have been doing live master classes every week so the last four master classes are available for replay on my big cartel site keywords was one of them buying was another one that one was really fun as well as organization and this coming sunday we will be doing shipping so if you are scared or kind of apprehensive about the shipping side of reselling this master class on sunday at 2 p.m will be great for you i will answer all of your questions we will do it live i will talk about different ways that you can ship how to market in the app as well as different packaging supplies to use everything you need to know to feel comfortable shipping so definitely go to my big cartel site check out that live master class and i look forward to seeing you we've been having really really great time in my master classes we do giveaways every master class and it has just been a lot of fun so this is the second plate this is a vintage 1980s new jersey plate garden state customize i did put cider which is what it says but i also put beer and alcohol and i think that very very well could have been what sold it so fast this one sold for 55 dollars again and under a day all right this next one is really really cool and it was a first for me it was actually a viewer sale and it was an international viewer sale so my first international viewer sale miss genie bought this purse as a birthday gift i'm super happy that she got it so miss genie thanks for your purchase this is an amazing amazing purse so this is an antique mbw metro bag art deco metallic bead handmade in paris france it sold for $72. This is a classic flapper purse. Keep an eye out for these. Some of them are worth hundreds and hundreds of dollars. This one I paid $24. So it is about a $40 profit. And Miss Jeannie did pay for international shipping. Up next is one of the favorite pieces of artwork that I have ever found. I did get this again at online auction. If you don't know yet online auctions are my preferred way to source because I do live far away from any good amount of thrift stores and when I say far away I mean about an hour or so and traveling with a almost four-year-old it is a little bit difficult to get to those stores so I prefer to do big auction buys then I take one day drive and I can get enough inventory to last me a month sometimes a few months and only in one trip rather than going thrifting not being sure if i'm gonna find anything and having to go more often so online sourcing is definitely my favorite this next piece of art is absolutely beautiful this is a frank howell coming home again signed lithograph print framed native american it sold for a hundred and eighteen dollars I only paid $5 for this. It is over a $100 profit and it sold in about three months. Up next is another piece of artwork. This one was really cool and I got it really cheap. Another online auction buy. This one took over a year to sell. Not much over, but right at that one year point is still a great profit. I got it for $5 and this one sold for... 113.75 this one i could not tell when i was looking at the pictures to buy it but it was an amazing piece of artwork made out of gravel and tiny pebbles there is no painting it is all tiny little pebbles so my title says vintage mid-century modern wall art gravel pebble tile cherry tree blossoms and pagoda again 113 dollar sale and about an 80 dollar profit these next items are a combined sale for a total of $200 with three items. 
They are all three license plates. They are all three customized and they all three sold within one hour of listing. I'm going to show you all three. The grand total the buyer paid was $196 and I did give them free shipping. They did ask me if they bought all three and with items that were under a pound and a $200 sale, I was okay to give way and give them that free shipping. Typically, that is not something I do. So this first one was a vintage customized original 1963 New Hampshire plate. This one was customized with the name Mason. This one sold for $59.99. And then here, this next one was another Mason plate from 1959. This one was older. That's why it sold for $77.99. And then we have another customized Mason tag that sold for $58.49. If you're wondering why the buyer got those, it is his last name. So I am lucky he happened to find them shortly after I listed them. Like I said, it was within an hour. They sold really fast. My cost in was only $3, making them well over $150 of profit, even with me giving the buyer free shipping. Next is some more artwork. So when it comes to artwork, if I can't find the exact same thing, or something really similar i will just price it at where i think it should be that's something in my head it's not something i can tell you exactly how to do worst case you price it high people send you a little bit lower offers you get a feel that oh i should probably lower it but in this case it sold at where i priced it and i think the frame has a lot to do with it this is a antique gold carved picture frame. This is a small picture. It's only 14 inches by 15 inches. This one was from the 1800s. This one has a young couple. This one sold for $265. Like I said, I believe the frame in this case was probably a little more valuable than the actual picture, but I paid less than $10 for this, and this is well over a $200 hundred dollar profit all right we are getting higher and this next one is really really cool piece and it's sold for a great price this is a vintage wee chal beaded gourd native folk art covered lidded box this was handmade it was large this one sold for three hundred and fourteen dollars and thirty six cents absolutely great sale it sold in under two months it was really really fast i got this at an online auction it was individual not in a big lot i did pay 50 dollars for it and it is still well over a 200 dollars profit after fees and again the buyer did pay shipping up next is a teacup so if you haven't seen my teacup video definitely watch it again there are a lot of these worth hundreds up to thousands of dollars. This next one's sold just shy of $300 and it sold in under a month. This is a vintage cobalt blue Ainsley Orchard gold trim teacup and saucer made in England sold for $291.92. I am actually less than $10 into this. This did come in a teacup lot i actually got two lots of teacups one lot i had to pay quite a bit for the other one i only had to pay 140 for 14 cups so about ten dollars in and this one's about a 240 dollar profit all right we have another single item auction buy and the material this is made of is definitely something you should keep an eye out for this is a carved statue made of jade and these can bring big money this is a vintage chinese import jade birds pheasant or phoenix this is eight inches by four inches this one sold for 377 dollars and 36 cents I bought this from an online auction. I believe I only paid $20. So this one is well over a $300 profit and it sold in under two months. Watch for Jade. I've done well with Jade jewelry. I've sold several necklaces for hundreds of dollars 
as well as carvings like that one you just saw. This next one is another single item bought from an online auction. This is a box set. I did pay about $110 for it, but it sold for almost $300. This is a brass key Walt Disney collectible lighted porcelain Christmas village set in the box. So I had the original box. This one sold for $297. It was about a $140 profit after the fees. Again, this was a single item lot in an online auction and it sold in about three months. All right, we are up to my top three sales over the last month and they were some really really good ones this next one is another teacup that sold for over 550 dollars watch for teacups this one was in the higher lot that i bought so i am over 50 dollars into this but it was still a really great profit so this is a ainsley bone china cabbage rose cobalt blue and gold teacup this one was signed j.a bailey j.a bailey is definitely something that you do want to keep an eye out for that signature is very very well sought after this one was about a 400 dollars profit after fees and it sold in under a month also watch for that cabbage rose there are several different brands of teacups that do make a cabbage rose print and a lot of them sell very very high all right this next one is the item that won me the thrift battle over on primetime treasure hunters channel it is a carved piece so again watch for carved stuff especially if they are larger this one had amazing amazing details i only paid 20 dollars for this it sold in under a month for almost 900 dollars this is a large antique vintage hand carved chinese stope stone mountain village this was 17 inches long it sold for $876.91, making it well over a $700 profit in under a month. This one had tons of detail. It actually was close to 25 pounds. The buyer paid 50 in shipping. Great profit, sold fast. Watch for detailed stuff. I did find one very similar to this on Worth Point. That is how I knew I could get that high of a price. So Worth Point is a great tool, especially when comping these high dollar one-off items. Absolutely must have if you are sourcing one of a kind items that you cannot find comps for on eBay. All right, this next one was almost an oops buy for me. What do I mean when I say that? Well, right after I did my brooch research video, I was super hyped up. So I know you get excited when I do the research videos and you want to go find the things. Well, so do I. And in this case, I found a Shriner brooch on auction. I paid almost $800 for it. And I was so excited. I neglected to notice that the main center stone was actually chipped. So this brooch had a defect so I didn't notice that and I was like crap I'm gonna lose money I did an auction started it right at 2,000 I was hoping to get between two and three thousand for it I got no bid so I put it up on buy it now at 1600 hoping at least to get double what I paid even though it would be less than that after fees and somebody sent me an offer of 1200 I said you know what I want my $800 investment back I still made about 200 to 250 dollars but my negligence of not really looking at those photos because it was bought in an online auction and it was shipped to me so i didn't see it in person my negligence of paying attention to those details almost cost me some money but luckily i still made a couple hundred dollars if you do not know this name definitely learn it it is shriner new york this is a vintage Shriner New York purple, blue, and green glass. This one, I you can see I put read in capital letters at the end of the title because of the damage to that main stone. This one did sell for $1,200. 
I did not have any negative feedback from the buyer. So I am happy to have made just a couple hundred dollars, recouped my investment, and now I know when I buy higher dollar items to pay a little bit closer attention to those photos so I don't potentially lose money. All right, that is the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Again, don't forget, you can go buy replays of my previous master classes or sign up for the one this coming Sunday on shipping. We have Dalton's birthday party on Saturday. So he is turning four years old on Saturday, which is really hard to believe. And he will be starting school in only three weeks. So things are about to change around here for us. I'm going to have to figure out a whole new normal once he starts going to school. He has to be there at 7.15 in the morning. I normally do get up early, but not that early. So we are going to have to change our schedules around. We have already started changing his sleep schedule around. So we're excited. He is turning four. We will have his birthday party and in just a few weeks he will be at school. So I thank you so much for watching. Again, one of my biggest points with this video is that most of these items were bought as single items on online auction all of these items in this video were bought from online auction so do not be scared to look at those single listings and see if you see anything that catches your eye that might be worth big money i appreciate you watching i hope you have a great rest of your week as well as your weekend i will see you on the next one bye for now